Hong people should not be greedy and must accept the government's political reform package. That's the interpretation of the fortune stick that Beijing loyalist Lao Wang Fat drew at Che Kung Temple today. While the temple's fortune teller predicted the year of the goat will be average instead of good or bad for Hong Kong, others read the message as a warning that a rough year is ahead. Lao Wong Fat and party were greeted by a lively lion dance performance at Che Kung Temple this morning. This was the 12th year in a row for the Heng Yi Kuk chairman to draw the traditional Lunar New Year fortune stick for Hong Kong. After a short ritual, Lao knelt alongside Sha Tin Royal Committee Vice Chairman Li Che Ki for the much anticipated Taoist ceremony. In the end, stick number 20 fell out of Lao's container. The corresponding poem first mentioned women's jewellery and cosmetics, before ending with a message by Kun Yang, the goddess of mercy, advising people not to be greedy. According to the temple's fortune teller, it means people should be practical and pragmatic in the year of the goat, or risk losing everything. He predicted an average year ahead for Hong Kong. But Lao put a political spin on his own interpretation. The veteran rural leader and Beijing loyalist said the fortune stick was a message for Hong Kongers to pocket the final package of political reform proposals that the government will put before LegCo this summer. While Beijing has given the green light to elect the chief executive by universal suffrage in 2017, it has laid down a tight framework which will effectively screen out opposition candidates. The pan-democratic camp has vowed to veto the final blueprint under such restrictions. Asked if that is being greedy, Lao would only say it's better to take things step by step. Last year, Lao drew the number four stick, also predicting an average year of the horse and advising the government to listen to the people to avoid misfortune. Some have cast doubts over the neutrality of today's fortune teller and raised concerns as to whether the message has been misinterpreted or taken out of context. When we asked another fortune teller at the temple to reinterpret the message, he described it as a bad draw and predicted a rough year ahead for Hong Kong. Chen Tianyan said a governance crisis continues in the wake of last year's Occupy protests, and the legislature is also chaotic. He urged opposing sides to sit down and settle their differences. But for the many worshippers who flocked to Che Kung today, it was more about good health and good fortune than politics. Many were there to lay their hands on the golden wheel of fortune in the belief that it would bring them luck and prosperity. A giant drum was also there at the entrance to welcome the new year with a bang. Beijing loyalist Regina Ip had an unfortunate start to her new year at the temple today. The executive councillor was knocked sideways by the rear end of a dancing lion, but recovered her composure without a fuss. Health authorities have reported the first death among children suffering from severe flu this year. Four adults have also died over the past 24 hours, taking the toll to 243. The Center for Health Protection said the baby who died was a 17-month-old girl. She was admitted to Chung Kwen O Hospital on Wednesday night after two days of high fever and transferred to United Christian Hospital where she died last night. Authorities are urging people to get vaccinated and take precautions against the flu. The highlight of today's celebrations will be the big fireworks display over Victoria Harbour at 8 tonight. Up to 300,000 people have gathered on both sides of the harbour to watch the spectacle. Many have secured vantage points hours ago. We're from Chile and the country is really famous. Uh, we always watch in the news that the Hong Kong celebration for Chinese New Year, so we wanted to be here and have a good place to watch the, the fireworks. We wait a lot, but it's worthy it because we heard it's um, very nice fireworks. Uh, we are looking forward to it. Nearly 24,000 shells will be set off during the 23-minute display. The Marine Department has reminded those watching at sea to be careful and ensure that children are wearing life jackets at all times. Vessel captains have also been warned against speeding and overloading. 
Earlier today, many families were out dining or shopping to celebrate the Lunar New Year. The second day of the Year of the Goat was marked by more traditional feasting. ATV's Arthur Urquela reports. Seafood vendors at markets like this one in Tai Po saw brisk business this morning as families prepared for another big meal to mark the second day of the Lunar New Year. This woman said she was planning to spend more than $1,000 on seafood. Live shrimps, which symbolize happiness and good fortune, were popular despite costing up to $20 more per catty. Live chickens were also popular, but mainland supplies yet to fully resume since they were suspended at the end of December and it wasn't long before they were sold out. This vendor said there weren't enough supplies to meet demand, and this also drove prices up by about $10 a caddy. At this dried seafood shop in Sheng Wan, worker Lung Bing was up at 6 a.m., preparing a festive meal for her colleagues. She said she didn't mind putting in the effort, as it was a special occasion. Among the eight dishes for more than 20 staff, cooking pork belly took more than an hour. The meal has been a Lunar New Year tradition since the shop's opening more than 50 years ago. Its owner reported 10% growth in business over the past year, and he's hoping for an even better year of the goat, with the Saiyingpun MTR station set to open in March. Arthur Akhila, ATV News.